Ready. Deadpool and Wolverine. We both saw it. Uh, you finally got the chance to see it yesterday. Is that right? And yep. uh, the extra time gave me a chance to rewatch it again. By the way, full spoilers to everybody. Uh, if you didn't, uh, if the thumbnail and title didn't give it away, here's your chance. Full spoilers ahead. Uh, I'm not going to hold back at all. So um, I guess uh, let's go ahead and start getting into it. Um, so what would you think of the movie? I really enjoyed it. This is the first one I've getting, gotten to see in theaters, mm-hmm. um, which has really made the experience uh, much better for me. I had a great time. It's a super fun movie. Um, it really felt like an event to me. Like the last movie I felt like it was an event like this was probably Spider-Man No Way Home. Like this is the first time I was like, oh, like you have to go see this in theaters. So, yeah, I I loved it. Yeah, I think... I think you're right, because um, th- there have been a couple of really big movies that have come out over the last year or two. Um, I mean, we've got Barbie and Oppenheimer. I mean, I guess that you could call that the, the big event. The Barbenheimer um, event. Yeah, although it hasn't done, like, Barbie didn't do as well as Inside Out 2 has. Yeah. Like, Inside Out 2 has made more money this year than Barbie did last year. And so there's been some big movies, but yeah, like, this is oh, the yeah. first... It's like the return of of the big Marvel event movie. Oh yeah, uh, which is which has been so much fun. Uh, yeah, I think you and I's both of our favorite movies in theaters this year was Dune. Not this, but the, like <laughs> Dune was just a really good movie. This was yeah. an event to yeah. me. Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, I when rewatching it, you know, because um, after after I got out of the theater for the second uh, for the first time. Um, I had it as my number two spot for the year, but um, as I kind of let it settle and whatnot, it kind of dropped down below. Uh, I think it's, I want to say number four now. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I think it's number four now. So still top five for me. Still really, really enjoyed it, especially after the second watch. Um, mm-hmm. There's a lot of jokes. I actually had to write down some notes after <laughs> I watched it the second time because there's a like a bunch of little little tiny uh, jokes that I think most people probably missed. Um, mm-hmm. but I just wanted to point them out. Uh, I'll probably do that a little bit later. Um, what I think the first thing I noticed in the movie was, um, I mean, besides the fact that they're going up and literally digging up the grave of Logan mm-hmm. <laughs> in the movie, but uh, the first one of the first things I noticed was that they actually had real credits in the beginning. I was looking for that because you made a point <laughs> to sh- like make sure I'm looking for them the first two. So yeah. I was like, all right, where's the joke here? And it was just the credits. It was just regular credits. And I was slightly, I was kind of disappointed by that because the other two movies, they went so hard on that. Um, but the bye, 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 that was, oh man, that was so much fun. That was good. That was one of my favorite parts of the movie. I yeah. think consistently every Deadpool movie, one of my favorite scenes is the first scene. <laughs> so it was, yeah. I would loved it. And I've, I've been, I've been seeing a lot of uh, videos recently about uh, people doing the Deadpool dance. Uh, <laughs> uh, do you think that, that was, was actual ryan reynolds dancing i don't know i would like to think so i think it was because the dance moves like weren't that good like they were pretty <laughs> stiff so like it makes me feel like they didn't just like bring someone in to dance it's like no you're dancing now that was that's that's a that's a fun thing that's i i would i would like to think that that uh that ryan reynolds actually did that it seems like the kind of yeah. thing he would do um is you think he's in the suit like 99 percent of the time outside of stunts i don't i'll be honest i have no idea again i would like to believe so i'd I like know. to think that um, i like to as well because like and just just because of like how every, everything going into it and everything i'd like to believe that he is in the suit 99 percent of the time mm-hmm. um although speaking of which um <laughs> at the end when they are uh they're holding hands and the antimatter and matter are coming together. Mm -hmm. I, I really want to say that Wolverine wasn't actually Hugh Jackman. The entire time he was wearing the mask. I was like, I can't tell if that's Hugh Jackman or not. Yeah. And then, and then his shirt comes off and I'm like, I'm like 95% sure that is a body double. This like Uh, 60 year old man. (laughs) I'm like, I'm like, I, I, cause it's like his mask is still on, but his shirt comes off and I'm like, I'm pretty sure like that was a real, that was a really funny moment because it was like, yep, we're doing the shirtless scene right now. And mm-hmm. 
Oh, I'm pretty sure that they kept the mask on so they could have a body double in there. You know, I'm going to hold out hope. I'm going to say that was Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I mean, he was huge all movie. Like, his arms were insane. Yeah. Like, I'm just going to choose to believe that even a 60-year-old man can look that good. That would be, that would be, that's really interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, let me think here. I guess what direction do we want to go? Uh, do some cameos. Cameos. Yeah. So, um, I guess we could start off in the earliest bits. Um, the first cameos we get are all the Wolverine cameos. Yeah. Um, how many of those did you understand when watching the movie? The only one that I, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I know what that is, was Patch. Okay. And I don't really even know how I knew it. It might have been like a Marvel game I played one time. And okay. then I was like, I knew the eye patch Wolverine, but I didn't know the rest of them. I, I mean, obviously there was the comic accurate Wolverine. Um, there's the Calvarine. <laughs> oh um, yeah. That one was great. Yeah. Those two. Oh, jab um, at DC. Yeah. Well, I think, I think cause um, it's, I think it's something kind of like in the vein of, um, uh, I'm blanking on the name real quick. Uh, Fantastic Four in Multiverse of Magic. John Krasinski. Yeah, John Krasinski being cast. It was a fan like casting. Like a fan casting. And yeah. they were just like, "Hey, why not? You know, it's a cameo. You know, we can do that. We're not. We don't have to commit to it." Uh, I think that's. I think that's why he was there. Is is because it was a fan casting. Um, and a little joke I noticed with uh, Henry Cavill is so. Um, have you seen uh, Mission Impossible Fallout? Mm hmm. So you know how like he, he does that like like the arm reload. reload thing? They had like I like when I was watching it like and he like he uh, he threw his arms out like um you know and almost in a similar vein of the arm reload thing from Fallout. That'd be really funny if that was what they were referencing. I think I think it was like that's that's that was my thought process like because the the way he uh he it was like it was like it was like he was like getting him out like with using force you know in his arms uh, getting those claws out so I. I think that's to me that is a reference. I think to you that. might be right because that's a pretty <laughs> iconic uh, scene from Henry Cavill. Yeah, and it was yeah, and it was Henry Cavill doing it again. Um, and obviously some jabs at DC from that. Uh, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, and then I, I think the the only one other oh um, when the the Hulk versus Wolverine. Um, mm. that one. Yeah. Now, granted, I didn't. I didn't really recognize any of the like suits or any like any of the other stuff, except for the stuff that that was pointed out. Um, but one thing I did notice with um the uh, brown suit Wolverine and f him fighting the Hulk is that um really quick he's uh he says I am Marvel Jesus you uh what was it yeah. what was the line you dull uh, creature you dull creature he, <laughs> just yeah, before Hulk key. smashes him. <laughs> Yeah, he went Loki on him. <laughs> yeah, he went Loki on him. Um, just, a, just a real quick line right there. Um, but yeah, I didn't, I don't really know any of the, um, any of them straight off the bat. I mean, obviously there was a few of those sprinkled in. Um, are you familiar? Like, have you ever, have you ever watched Blade or? Daredevil? I have not seen any Blades now. Okay, um, I didn't either. So to like, Elektra and Blade and Gambit coming in. Um, yeah, I had no really... idea who Elektra was, and then, <laughs> and uh, then I knew who Blade was mm -hmm. when I saw him, and then Gambit was my, I think my favorite cameo of the whole thing. Not that I was like a Gambit fan going into it, but like when he was on the screen, I feel like he stole the show. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think, um, I I, th I thought Gambit. I think he looked really cool. He did. You know, he he had the he had the um. From what I what I understand, he, it was a comic accurate outfit, and um, and I, I thought I just thought he was really cool with what he did. Now, there was a ton of jokes in there. Do you know why that is a uh, significant cameo? Well, because he was cast multiple times to be Gambit and like have mm -hmm. his own Gambit movie, and it just kept getting pushed back delayed or canceled right yeah 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 and um yeah i didn't he kept know that talking about in. like all the fights he could have had or like he yeah. almost had all yeah, the people that should know who he was yeah th that was good yeah and there was fact that he was a, uh he thought he was born in the void mm -hmm. um yeah i didn't i didn't know who he was or i, I didn't know any of that going into the f the first time um uh, so i didn't catch a lot of the jokes the first time around um but i think 
I think the, there was another there was another bit where people were worried about his accent, and that's why you have the joke on is like, "Who's your dialect coach?" The minions, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, that was good. Um, but yeah, I, I thought I thought he was he was a pretty fun character, and uh, I actually afterwards I went and rewatched or not rewatched I went and watched um, all three Blade movies plus Daredevil and Elektra to kind of get you know all that backstory. And it still doesn't hit like super hard, like going into it, because I already knew the cameos were there. Yeah. And the characters, like, it's really tough with characters who are returning. It's like, you know, do they do they feel like the old character? It's like, well, eh, you know, because different writers and everything, like, the, the, things have changed so much that it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to recapture that. And especially considering he's missing his blade, like his sword. I'm like, what? What's going on? With yeah, that? kind of the whole where he gets a name. <laughs> he yeah. didn't have the sword. That, that was weird. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I thought Blade was pretty cool. Um, I really like. I liked the first movie. The other two were kind of okay. Um, okay. Into not great for Blade Trinity. I did um, know that. I did catch the joke how he Blade said, "There's only one of me. There will never be another." And then Deadpool just kind of looks at the camera, <laughs> just because how much trouble Marvel's having getting this blade movie hap to happen yeah i think uh i think there's still quote unquote a, a scheduled uh blade movie for like end of 2025 mm -hmm. there uh, has been i think the initial plan was it was supposed to be this or it's supposed to already have happened it just keeps yeah. getting moved back changing directors yeah um and when it comes to bald lady i can't remember her name um main villain yeah xavier's uh sister yeah i thought now going into that i thought she was uh granted i didn't do much research going in so um i i thought she was a like a, a magneto uh alternate reality magneto or something like that because like there's just a clip of of her controlling wolverine's claws so that that's what i thought but going into i'm actually glad i'm glad they did what they did with her um i thought she was pretty cool uh yeah, i thought she really was solid yeah um oh and then of course chris evans uh making a cameo oh yeah we skipped that one yeah uh, um did you one... did you even for a second think it was gonna be captain america oh, yeah. i didn't think oh, it yeah. was the first second like they showed his face like this is not captain america I, the way I, he jumped down from that platform like looked a little too magical to me <laughs> i didn't i actually i wasn't really thinking about it because um like it was like i was like i was like okay who is this because at first you know i just have absolutely no idea who it is um and then they reveal it's chris evans and i was like whoa but i was like okay it's uh, you know I, I was a little confused because i'm like captain i don't know why captain i wasn't thinking about the fantastic four at all no so, i didn't think it was the flame but I didn't I also didn't think it was Captain America. So I was like, I don't know what he's doing here. Like yeah, is he it, just some made up character or what? But then yeah, then the reveal. It was kinda like that for me, I think. Um I I wasn't I was like I was like, what is it? I'm like, this doesn't I don't, I don't what are, what are, what is going on? Because 'Cause I'm like, this doesn't really seem like a thing you would want to do is bring Captain America back into the void of like I'm like this I'm like, I don't why would you want to do that? Um but of course, you know, you have Deadpool, he's playing it up getting you to think it is captain america and of course it being chris evans i'm like okay you know so i was just kind of accepting it and then uh when they when they do that switcheroo and he says flame on and it's like oh it's the human. yeah it clicks yeah <laughs> yeah yeah so it's like I, I still feel like i got uh i got tricked with that and it was like oh that's fun <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah that was uh um uh, that was pretty fun um i i still think I still think this movie, I still do not consider this to be an MCU movie at all. No, I, I saw in your spoiler free where it's like, is this going to save the MCU? It's like, absolutely not. This, no. You could tell like, yes, Marvel made this one, but you can see like Deadpool is pretty much like removing himself. Like he went back and saved his own timeline. Like that's where he is. That's where he's going to stay. So I, yeah, I think this is completely separate. I almost kind of wonder about like the whole Marvel Jesus thing because I bet I'll bet there's there were a lot of like rewrites and stuff with that because I almost wonder if there was a version of the script that was um, that was featured heavily with the MCU. I don't know. 
Um, I think maybe, I mean, it could just be a reference because, like, I feel like in every movie, they for some reason have beef with Passion of the Christ just because that's like the rated R movie that they're trying to always beat. So I think maybe calling himself Marvel Jesus is just kind of like hinting at like that. Like he's just saying, oh, I'm on, I'm right next to Jesus. Like I'm our movie's next to that one. That and I think because um, because like he like I think cause I think there's a lot of people who are expecting this movie to save the MCU, and maybe yeah. maybe that's it. Because maybe um maybe he was like the whole like he was using that analogy a to you know poke fun at Passion of the Christ, but then also um to try to um like poke fun at people who are like, hey, this is like the Oh yeah, um, this is gonna save the MCU. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna save the MCU, but the story is not anything about saving. It has absolutely almost nothing to do with the MCU, actually. No, um, nothing. So, um, and it's actually to John Favreau, and that's about it. Yeah, yeah. He talks to... <laughs> I was hoping that scene was not gonna be happy. I was hoping it'd be Deadpool talking to real life John Favreau. That's what I wanted it to be. <laughs> that would that would have been funny, actually. Uh, actually, I see, thought when they were talking about the big guy, I thought they were talking about Kevin Feige. <laughs> like that's what I wanted it to be. Actually, that would have been even funnier. Uh, I I I didn't think that it would have been that, but that actually would be really funny if it was uh, John Favreau's. Although, although John Favreau doesn't really do, as far as as far as I'm aware, um, production wise, I don't think he does, really does much. But. Um, yeah, I mean, he was. I don't know. He, didn't he direct the first Iron Man? He did. Maybe yeah, the first he, two. Uh, he he directed the first two Iron Man, and I think after that he was out um, for directing. Um, I know uh, Josh Whedon. He uh, helped cultivate from around the Avengers through Phase Two. He was kind of the cultivator there, um, and then the Russo brothers took over. I think right. for Phase Three. So I think that's kind of how all that went down, but I don't think I don't I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I know Favreau is pretty high up in Disney, like he's super involved in Star Wars and all that too. Yeah, so. no, in Star Wars, I can I could see more of uh, more of him being um, the bigger, high higher up guy yeah. there. Um, but yeah, this one definitely felt more of an X Men love letter uh, than actual uh mcu movie so mm-hmm. which in a sense then makes it the mcu still has like has no movie this year mm-hmm. and uh which is kind of interesting because the last two huge mcu movies one was made for from sony and one was a x-men movie um yeah you don't consider guardians a big movie then I mean, it only made eight hundred million dollars, so yeah, it wasn't like a huge splash hit. It was, um, it was successful, but like mildly successful. Um, mm-hmm. But even that, like, still the the better movies from the last couple of years, it was uh, James Gunn, Guardians of the Galaxy. It was Ryan Reynolds with Deadpool and Wolverine, and then you've got um, you know no Sony with the uh, No Way Home. Um, the rest of them have performed pretty mediocrely, I think, at best. Even though I think Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness made almost a billion dollars, um, but I know a lot of people don't like that movie. So I think that movie gets too much hate. I liked I think, it. I I really enjoyed it, and um, you know, I think I think a lot of what people say about Multiverse of Madness, I think I think some of it's just because they heard so many rumors about stuff, and then. It the did, expectations didn't come that we've talked about. Yeah, expectations were too high, and they didn't get me. So I don't know who all uh, all the uh, cameos that didn't show up in Deadpool and Wolverine, though. Because, um, again, I paid literally no attention to it. Um, I thought there would be more, honestly. like Not like I had someone in my head, like, I hope I see this person, but more just I thought, <laughs> like, kind of to make fun of all the multiverse stuff that's been going on, like, in Marvel and DC, I thought they were just going to throw it. Like everything at us, yeah. And like I th- they did that with the Deadpool's and the Wolverines, but then they, I felt like were pretty restrained with everything else. Yeah, yeah. I think they, yeah, they think they did that. Yeah, I, I would, I would have liked to have seen um, some more characters, um, but yeah. So, um, 
Okay, I've got a couple more jokes I want to um, I want to go ahead and mention as well. Um, so we, we've already we've already gone through a couple of them that I wrote down. Uh, one of them, one of the jokes that I wanted to mention is so in the car fight, like 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 when they stop the car and like yeah. like just as they're starting the car fight, and I think was it uh, I can't remember if it was uh, Wolverine who smashed Deadpool's head or Deadpool smashing Wolverine's head into the car radio. Yeah, and then uh, um, Greatest Showman played. Yeah. Yeah. A little clip of the Greatest Showman played, and I was like, ah. That was yeah. good. Yeah. It took me a second because I, like, I was like, okay, that tune. Okay, what is it? And I was like, wait, that's the intro scene from Greatest Showman starring That's funny. My, Hugh my theater, the theater I was in, everyone got that. Like, the minute it played, like, there was, like, pretty loud laugh in the theater. I think, uh, I think, my, I think my second showing people were actually – a lot more energetic, I want to say, this, this the second time than the first time I watched it. Uh, I think I watched it preview night, I want to say, on Thursday. Um, also in 3D, which I stand by my, I don't like 3D. Um, it's like, it's cool for like the first like five minutes and then it gets super distracting. Um, especially yeah. in like that first opening scene with uh the dancing and whatnot that was kind of distracting that's uh not gonna lie um and then there was uh there was another joke i can't remember exactly what the line was but um deadpool referenced um will smith uh when he slapped chris rock uh from the oscars (laughs) a couple years ago uh this was in um this was when he was in the uh the tva um he was about to get he was about to get hit in the face and he was saying, like, get something out of your mouth or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said, but it, but I'm like, I, I noticed that it was. I was like, that's a reference to the. Uh, to yeah, the I, I Oscars. didn't catch that one. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's that's all the uh, that's all the jokes that I uh, I wrote down. Little things. Um, pretty funny. One thing I, I thought was really fun about this movie is just there's so much cultural references just sprinkled in i think more than uh than the others or maybe i just noticed them more because um i've been much more in the pop culture over the last six years versus when uh deadpool 2 came out when i saw that um it came out in 2018 and i wasn't in like part of the cultural zeitgeist before then so um maybe i just noticed way more uh way more things but i think i definitely felt like there was a lot more um cultural references sprinkled in a lot of references mm-hmm. a little this is going to be something that you can go through like frame by frame and like uh, line by line and find a just a crap load of jokes in there that are really funny where would you uh rank this with the other two so um i still i still put deadpool the first deadpool at number one um then deadpool and wolverine the deadpool two yeah um, i think the story were i think both Deadpool 2 and Deadpool and Wolverine have big story issues. Oh, yeah. um, They're big is, like we're Deadpool, so don't think we don't don't think about the logic. Yeah. Just have fun. And like the first one, it's just a simple it's like I am a sucker for simple stories. Like simple stories that are effective. Um and it's it's just a simple revenge plot. Like it's just a simple revenge plot put in out of order, uh nonlinear storytelling, and then you've got some action and it's Deadpool. And then you mix all that together, and to me, like that becomes a bit of a classic right there. The other two, I feel like they do a lot more. They're trying to do so much more, and because of that, um, you've got a lot of uh, logistical issues. Um, like I didn't like what they did with Vanessa in Deadpool and Wolverine. Like what they they broke up. Like they what? Like the, I don't know. To me, yeah, that didn't make I think sense. That was maybe something with the actor. I think. Yeah, I don't know. I think the actress um, had issues with Ryan Reynolds. I'm not sure though. Hmm, that's interesting. I think maybe she just didn't want to be a part of the like a major part of the movie. But yeah, it was it was weird narratively. I, I, I was just... I was thinking that the they they were they did that to drive Deadpool to like change, you know. Um that just all of that yeah. just didn't make too much sense to me. That just didn't no, feel it didn't. right. Um but... yeah, it feels like that was like the whole arc of the second movie. It was saving someone that's not himself. Like Yeah, like well... he was saving the kid and like yeah. this one's like do something outside of yourself and like didn't he just do that like, yeah I don't, I don't understand that arc just was like the same 
and and using using Vanessa as um like as a driving force to get him to do that. Um, you know, I thought, yeah, that in that sense, yeah, that that works a lot more. So to me, it really didn't make a ton of sense that he's like he's like, oh man, I, now I'm now I gotta get a regular old job and I'm gotta quit mm-hmm. being Deadpool. And it's like that doesn't that just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, but in yeah, the, the story itself is just kind of weak. It you know you, you've got a lot of cameo stuff where it's just like it's like oh hey we we got this person back yeah, but then you don't really do too much with it. Um, yeah, uh, but the jokes still really funny. Still one of the funniest movies I've seen this year. Um, mm-hmm. It's still again still at number four for me. You know, uh, top four movies. So um, still really really enjoyed this one. And um, not post credit scene. Did you catch that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, where Chris Evans is actually saying the stuff that you thought <laughs> Deadpool yeah. made up. Yeah. And that was I a think funny he, reveal. He actually did. He actually did. Say, he actually said a lot more than Deadpool said. Um, <laughs> because you know, like, like having having heard uh, uh, Human Torch go in, and go off on that rant, you know, at the end of the first viewing, I mean, going back, I was looking for him to, at the very least, say that um, she can pull his skin off for Deadpool to say that. Um, and he and Deadpool never said that. So, like, that kind of indicated to me. Uh, he said way more in that scene at the end than Deadpool even said. Uh, so he was way worse than uh, Deadpool than Deadpool used. And uh, uh, and actually rewatching that scene after having seen the post credit scene, um, you can like it kind of recontextualizes it so that now he's like he's like, dude, don't stop saying what I said. You know, instead of instead of like, whoa, I didn't say that. Like, whoa, ch- dude, chill. Instead, he's it's, it's like an actual panic now. Uh, yeah. So that that's that kind of reworks that scene a little bit. It's funny. But uh, yeah. So uh, do you have any any extra thoughts? Any extra notes? Um, well, I had one thing I want to bring up. Did mm-hmm. you hear the initial plan for how they were going to release this movie? I'm gonna go with no. Okay, so. Ryan Reynolds said this in an interview that the initial plan is they were not going to advertise this as a Deadpool movie. They were going to advertise this as a really bad cop, like buddy cop movie, not do anything in the trailer, just make a fake trailer for a fake movie. Then people will go like five people maybe will be like, oh, fine, I'll go see it. They'll play like five minutes of this cop movie and then it turns into Deadpool and Wolverine and nobody knows it's coming out so then the only way is like people start like people the five people that went to the movie tell everyone like this movie was a deadpool movie and like get people to go in and see that but the reason they didn't is they worried about production leaks like it get like exposed way earlier than the movie releases but if they could have pulled that off that would have been amazing that would have been interesting really interesting um yeah, uh, I I think I have heard about that. Yeah, um, like that. I I don't know if that would have been a like that would have been a really funny thing to happen. Uh, but considering like by weekend number two, they already like Deadpool and Wolverine's already the second largest movie of the year. Oh yeah, it's definitely like not a good way to make money. Dollars. Yeah, but it's a really funny, I think, creative decision. Like if yeah. you care more about the product <laughs> and the experience than the than the paycheck, which should have done that before you were out with Disney if that's what you care about but yeah yeah definitely and uh um i had a thought in there i lost it <laughs> yeah that would that, that would have been that would have been just a really funny thing to happen um but yeah, it would have been pretty wild, but hard to pull off for sure. Really hard. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, oh yeah, um, there were. I did notice, uh, or there was one at one point. I did see a production leak. Um, it was a photo of um, of Deadpool holding up Sabretooth's head. That was after, like, after he got decapitated. Oh really? Yeah, I did see that for like a second. I scrolled away. I didn't know who it was at the time. Um, so that that was still like all that was still a complete surprise to me. Um, but I was, I was just thinking, like, I thought about it during the movie and I was like, wait a second, I've seen this, sh- I've seen this from like a, like a production leaks 
you know, photo. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was funny. Oh, yeah. And then there's also uh, references to Furiosa in the movie as well. Yeah. Well, uh, at first, they're like, some, he said Mad Max. He's like, well, we can't say that because of IP. And then he just straight up said, Furiosa. <laughs> You're Queen Furiosa. <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, really funny. Yeah, that was that was a funny joke, especially considering, especially considering that Furiosa absolutely bummed at the box office. Unfortunately, I like that movie; mm-hmm. it was good. But Artie, you you got anything else for us? I don't think so. No, alrighty. So we'll uh, go ahead and end it there, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And if you guys want, uh, I do have. I believe next week I'm going to be releasing my X Men franchise review. Um, went through most of the X-Men movies for the first time recently. So um, I recorded all of that before I went and saw Deadpool and Wolverine. So I didn't have any Deadpool and Wolverine spoilers in it. Um, but if you guys want to see that or any other videos in the future, uh, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next time. Ciao.